Bora, Zu. Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. As you can see, acoustic guitar is out and capo is on. So this is gonna be the fantastic song by Nick Drake called River Man. This is one I really like to teach people and I like to play myself. Can't sing and play it though. It's really difficult. <laughs> but he did, if you listen to the album track, that is him playing and singing it live because he was ridiculously talented. So what I'm gonna do in this video is you're gonna see lots of cuts because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the left hand bit and then I'm gonna to flick to me doing it with my right hand as well. And then near the end of the video, I'll try and play it through as more of a chunk so you can just, so you get more of a vibe of how it sounds. But we're basically gonna be doing it kind of chord by chord for a little bit. Oakley dokely do. In that case, let's crack on. So Capo is on third fret, okay? Um, unlike a lot of his songs, it's in standard tuning, which is fantastic. But there's a lot of weird chords, but it is standard tuning, just with Capo on third fret, okay? So, the main thing that makes this song difficult is basically the rhythm is very strange. Um, we're so used to playing things in 4-4 four, four, that we're so used to counting in fours and doing everything in some kind of in fours basically, that this this being in five four is very very strange. What also makes it difficult is the longest note of the bar is actually on the and of one. So as you count a song, it'd be one two three four five, and if you throw in the ands, it would be one and two and three and four and five and. Okay, and the longest note is you go one and and you play on that and, and that's the longest note of the whole bar. So it can be quite difficult, and a lot of people I've taught this to have found it tricky to count the bars effectively because they want to start the bar there. As you know, so one and and start, but that's not where the bar starts, it starts on the one, obviously. So it's, it is a tricky little um, thing to deal with. So I'm going to go through it nice and slowly and play the rhythm a lot of times, and I think that's the best way to get used to it. So let's go through this first chord. So it will be the shape of an A add 9 slash E, but because we're on the capo on that third fret, it's gonna be a C add 9 slash G, okay? So, there's my chords. What I'm playing there is what is effectively second fret on the D string with my first finger, um, second fret B string with my middle finger, and then fourth fret G string with my pinky, okay? And we get this lovely sound. That was my cap, that's not a lovely sound. Give me a sec. Okay, lovely cut there as I had to let my cat in the room because she was meowing at the door. She's now walking around my legs because she wants to be fed, but um, I'll do that in a little bit. So that's our shape. Uh, second fret D string, second fret B string, fourth fret G string, okay? We actually, at some point, are gonna play all of those notes. So that is the sound of this chord, beautiful sound of the chord. I've just got to adjust my capo just a tiny bit. That sounds better. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to play the E string on its own to start with, okay? And then I'm going to play the A, the D, the G, and the B, okay? So, the way I'm going to play this with my right hand, I will show you in a second, but I'm playing the first bit with my thumb, and then I'm basically going to play the next bit with my thumb, first finger, middle finger, and ring finger, okay? And that's the longest note of the bar, okay? The next bit I'm going to play the open E string again, then those four strings below, the A, the D, the G, and the B, and then the D string, okay? So. Then I'm gonna play the open E string twice, okay? Then I'm gonna play the A, G, B, and E. Shush cat. And then I'm gonna play the D string, okay? So we end up with this. I'm not moving that chord at all. I'm doing all of that with my right hand, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is, is as, as, as I'm gonna do with all the chords, get my words out, is there'll be a cut now to me just playing that a couple of times with my right hand, okay? So see, I think it's easier to see than, than, than for me to say it out, okay? And then we'll cut back and you'll cut back to seeing this and it'll be the next chord, basically. Okay, so this is the first one of the right hands. Uh, just noticed, <laughs> Recording this, how badly I need to change my guitar string, so please <laughs> don't say anything nasty about it. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything. Realised the other day I trimmed my nails, which hasn't helped, but anyway, so here we go. So...
Hi there, so yeah, welcome back to the next chord. My cat is still going crazy, so you might see her jumping around in the background. Hopefully not, but we'll see. So the next chord is gonna be basically um, a, C minor, a C minor nine slash G. So instead of a, an add nine, we've got a minor nine. So what I'm playing here is, I'm playing the first, that's my cat, it's my cat's head there, you can just see. Uh, that's my, the first fret on the B string with my first finger, second fret on the D string with my middle finger, and I'm keeping that pinky on the fourth fret G string, okay? So we end up with this sound. Very, very similar rhythm to the previous one I'm gonna play. Okay, so it's gonna be E string, then I'm gonna play the next four strings down, which is the A, the D, the G, and B. And again, that's the longest note. He does also sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes he staccatos that as well. Like that. And what I'm doing there is I'm releasing my three fingers there and I'm using my ring finger to deaden. You could use your right hand as well, but I'd naturally use my left hand. Or, doesn't matter, but that's the long note. Then I'm gonna play another open E, then the four strings below, the A, the D, the G, and the B. Then the, uh, then the D string, not, not open, but just the D string. There you go. Two E strings. Then I'm gonna play the A, the D, the G, and the B. Then the D string on its own again. Okay, so we end up with. Okay, so again, I'm gonna cut, and then you'll see the, um, the right hand for that again, okay? Okay, here's the A minor shape. So sometimes I will, I, I prefer to mute with my left hand, but I do sometimes do it with my, I can do it with my right as well. So it's just a couple of examples for you there. Okay, so We've nearly done all the chords already in the song, so there's only six chords in the song. Um, so we're, we're a third of the way through already. So this next bit, I'm gonna do as he does it. Um, basically, this is gonna be a little bit more complicated because it's not gonna be this, uh, the same rhythm like the first two have been. But let's do the chord first. So basically, this is um, this is like a G minor sound, basically, we've got now. So what we're gonna do is, um, uh, well, it'd be G, uh, B, B flat because we've got the cap on, but yeah, originally a G minor sound. So we're going to play third fret E string, third fret A string, third fret G string, third fret B string. Very strange sound, but I quite like it. Dark and, and moody, that one. So similar rhythm to start. I'm going to play that E string. Then I'm going to play the D, the G, and the B. So not quite the same, slightly different. Again, that's the longest note. Then I'm gonna play the E string, and then I'm gonna play the A, the G, and the B, then the D on its own, like that, okay? So we've got. Okay, and that already sounds pretty cool. Then I'm gonna play the E string on the fourth beat of the bar. Then on the fifth beat of the bar, I'm gonna play the D, the G, and the B. Okay, so we end up with this first bar of this chord, we end up with. Now, slightly different already. So this second bar here is gonna be even, even more different. So this is one of the few times where we're gonna change between two bars. Everything else basically just stays the same each bar. So same shape, I'm gonna start it the same way. I'm gonna play the E string, then I'm gonna play the D, the G, and the B. Then I'm gonna play the E string, then I'm gonna play the A, the G, and the B, then the D string, okay? So we, exactly the same so far. Then I'm gonna play that E string, then what I'm gonna do is take my hand off and play an open E string, and then I'm gonna play a G minor triad. And I'm gonna play third fret on the G string with my first finger, fifth fret on the A string with my ring finger, and then fifth fret on the D string with my pinky. And we get that sound that's a G minor triad. I'm just gonna play those three notes, which is A, um, D, and G. Okay, so we've gone. We've got one more note left, we're gonna do an open E, okay? So the second bar ends up being like that, okay? So if I put those two together, just, uh, just do. Okay, third chord halfway there. So now you'll see the right hand of that, and then I'll see you back in a sec. 
Okay, and then the third chord, the most complicated chord, it's actually the second chord in the verse, but it's the third chord we're going to do in the song. Okay, do that again. Okay, so it's the only one where we've got really two different sections um, for each bar. Okay, so that's a really tricky one. And I'll flick back to the me again. Okay, next one, next shape is nice and simple because it's basically an F shape. In this key, it's going to be an A flat chord, but it's an F shape. First fret bar with an E shape, okay? So, what we're going to do here is we're going to play the E string, then we're going to play the A, the D, the G, and the B. Longest note again there. Then we're going to do the same thing again and then add the D string in. So E, A, D, G, B, and E. Sorry, A, D, G, and B. Then the D string. Two E strings. Then we're going to play the A, the D, the G, and the B. And then that D string again. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it out, but it probably will be easier for you to see in the video, uh, in the little cut when you see me playing with my right hand. But that's the shape I'm playing, the F shape. I'm just going to play that. Okay, the only variation I'm going to do on that is when I'm doing my final um, and of five on the final time I do it, which is usually on the second bar, I'm just going to throw an a, open A string to help me move chords. So I'm going to go. Then I'm going to go back to this intro chord. But anyway, so let me just flip to the video of me playing the F chord with my right hand. Oh, got something else on my phone. Uh, and then we'll flip back again. Okay, so this is the one that's the F shape. So whenever you're doing the final note on that, the and of five, you always want to throw in that open A string with your thumb, okay? Okay, fantastic. So what we've got now is we're going to do the, um, I'm just going to play through the verse basically just to give you an idea of the structure a little bit. Um, and then I'll add in the two final chords as well. So we actually start with this chord, four bars as an intro. So there's a bit of a swing in the in the way I'm playing it as well. So you rem remember to add in that little bit of swing. I think this is one of those easy, those rhythms where it's easier to feel it rather than describe it, but it does have a slight swing. Then we start the verse. Oh, get it right. basically once through the verse. It's two bars of, of each chord effectively. This song is basically just verses, so we've got two quite long verses of just that sequence. So if you listen to the song you'll you'll hear that. At the end of the second verse with the line is going to be about the way the river flows and all the night shows. Okay. What he actually does there is he goes from the F chord goes straight to the next chord which is a new chord he doesn't go back to that intro chord okay so this fight this not final chord this penultimate chord is going to be this beautiful sounding chord so this is a c7 flat 5 slash g obviously um, i'm going to use my middle finger to play this note which is second fret d string i'm going to use my pinky to play the fourth fret on the b string i can understand why you might fret it like that but i i just always do it like that and where i saw it written down for the first time was like that so that's probably why i do it like that same rhythm as we've done before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the E string, then I'm going to do the four strings below that, the A, the D, the G and the B. Then I'm going to do, that's the long note again, and then I'm going to do E, then those four strings, A, D, G and B, and then the D string. And then I'm going to do two root notes, the E's, then the 
A, the D, the G, and the B, then the D. Okay, I'll just play it through a couple of times and then it will flick to me straight doing the right hand. Okay, flick to the right hand. Okay, minus seven flat five time, beautiful sound. Just another one we might sometimes staccato. Okay, so basically we do that chord right at the end of both, uh, not both verses, of verse two and verse four, okay? Um, and you do it basically four times. So that's the main chunk of the song is that, okay? Um, what we have in the, uh, in the in-between times is we have an instrumental section. Now the instrumental section, if you, if you know the original track, is basically just a section where there's some, some um, strings over the top and also some traffic noise and various other things. Um, and it's basically it's gonna be this F shape, this, this A flat chord just done the same way. And then we're gonna go back to what I always call as the intro chord. Which is the C add nine slash G, okay? Um, so that's the two chords that we're gonna do there for that instrumental section okay um, because it's one of those songs that's a little bit unusual the amount of times we do each one is a little bit unusual as well in the in the original track but obviously if you're doing it live or something you can do as many or as few as you want don't feel constrained it has to be this amount of times or that amount of times okay that's not really the point of a folky song like this um, yeah cool so so, the outro. So basically, we've just played this four times. Okay, play that four times. Then we're gonna to go to our final chord, our sixth chord of the song, which is gonna be a C13 slash G. It's probably my favorite one, actually. Beautiful sound, right. First finger's gonna play that second fret B string. Ring finger's gonna play the fourth fret D string. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, Again, we're going to do the same um, right hand that we did for the for this chord. Okay, it's exactly the same. So you're probably getting used to it by now. It's going to be E string. Then I'm going to play the A, the D, the G, and the B. Then that's the longest note. Then I'm going to play the E string. Then the A, the D, the G, and the B. D string. Two root notes, two E strings. A, D, G, and B. D string. So I'll just play it a couple of times. Okay, and now we'll flick to the right hand uh, and then I'll see you back in a sec to go through the structure. Okay, C13 slash G. Just threw in a few staccatos there for you. And then it's gonna be back to me for some talking about structure of songs, you lucky people. Okay, so that's the... Um the final kind of right hand section of, of the sixth chord there, that C13 slash G. So let's talk about the structure. So basically this is the first chord um, and that's played four times. And then through the verse you've got two bars of every single chord. So you've got that's your first chord of the verse. Then you've got the complicated bit and that's the second. The F is the third and then that intro chord is gonna be the fourth chord of the verse. Basically you do the verse through completely three times and then on the fourth time you do the first three chords and then you go straight to this minor seven flat five, C minor seven flat five slash G. You do this chord four times. As with most of the chords, sometimes he does them quite staccato, sometimes he doesn't. So it's a little bit of whichever you prefer the sound of. Then we've got the instrumental section I mentioned earlier. This is a bit random how many times we do each one, but this is how he does it. You've basically got three bars of this F shape, which is obviously now an A flat with the capo on. So just three bars of that. Then we've got two bars of the intro chord. And we go back and do three more bars of that F shape. Okay, and then we've finally we've got four more bars of that intro chord. So it's just like an intro again at the end. Okay, so that's our intro instrumental section. Then we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the verse 
just as before, three times fully through. And then on the fourth time, we're gonna do the first three chords. Uh, second chord's the complicated one. Third chord's the F. Then we're gonna to go to the minor seven flat five, which we're gonna do four times again. So that's one time basically, so four times of that. Then we're in the outro and we're gonna to flick to the beautiful sounding C13 slash G. And that is going to be played four times, okay? Then we're gonna go back to this A minor shape, which is a C minor nine slash G. Uh, and we're gonna do that twice. Then we're gonna to go to that intro chord again. But only once, and then we're gonna to flip to this chord. Now the actual song, the actual album track is a fade out. I mean, he does it six or seven times in a row at the end, but obviously if you're playing this for your own pleasure, do as many or as few as you want, basically. And if you're playing along with the track, I think it's seven or eight times as it's fading out kind of thing. Um, and if I was, I'd probably just do it a couple of times. And leave it hanging there like that. Okay. So that's it basically. So lots of cuts. I've tried to break it down chord by chord and hopefully that'll help. And then at the end I've hit you up with the structure basically of the song. So hopefully this will be one you'll be able to have a go at. It's one I love to teach. It's actually one of the few one of, ones of these acoustic songs I've done that I've never gigged live. I've never really played in front of anyone. It's just one that I really, really love. And I say I love to teach it because it's a really interesting rhythm. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, as usual, um, please like the video. This has taken, you know, for me, this is a reasonable amount of effort because I have to do quite a lot of e editing and recording. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate you watching it. Please like the video, as I said. Uh, please comment it on the bottom. If there's any other acoustic songs you'd like to do, then let me know and I'll see if I can add those to the list. Um, and please share the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And as usual, I'll see you guys again soon for some more guitar stuff. See you later. Bye-bye.